Welcome to Alien Invasion Gaming. My name is Roy, and in this video I take a look at night vision and thermal equipment in Tarkov. Well, let's take a look. I stream on Mixer Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 7.30pm to 11pm Central. If you like what you're seeing in these videos, please stop on by and say hello. You can also reach me on Twitter at Reglar10. Make sure you follow me there to get notified when I go live. In Tarkov, players have six choices for night vision equipment and three choices for thermal. Of these nine pieces of kit, five are helmet-based systems and four are scopes. The price of these items range from 10,000 rubles for the basic NSPUM night scope up to over 2 million rubles for the T7 thermal goggles with night vision mounts. Each of these items come with their own mounting equipment, although three of the helmet-based items share the Nortos Titanium Advanced Tactical Mount, also called TATUM. Let's look at the equipment and I'll share my view on the pros and cons of each item. I've ordered the equipment from least expensive to most expensive. Note that all prices are as of February 9th, 2020, which is about midway into the patch 12 cycle. For this video, I'll be using Nighttime Factory for the equipment comparison so that the lighting levels are consistent. In other maps, the effectiveness of some of the equipment will vary based on ambient lighting conditions. Also, just to get it out of the way, some of the, my shooting is horrible and this has nothing to do with equipment. I am just a lousy shot. For the two thermal scopes, I leverage the GPNVG18 night vision to navigate, but I don't consider this a typical use case. Thermals are really good when used in daytime raids to help spot people in bushes, as well as find gear in bushes dropped by players trying to leverage insurance. I'll provide some gameplay of my daytime raids with thermals at the end of the video. Let's start with the NSPUM. This is an entry-level zoom night vision scope designed for the AK family of guns, but it also works on other guns that support side mounts. This scope is the cheapest night vision option at 10,000 rubles. I'm not a fan of the scope given its zoom factor and very small view area. Next up is the Vulcan MG Night Scope 3.5 times. This scope requires the Armasite Universal Base for mounting to your gun. This scope averages for approximately 30,000 rubles. While it provides a cleaner and slightly larger viewing area, it's still pretty restrictive, and you may have issues tracking players and NPCs that move quickly laterally. Here is the PNV-10T night vision helmet optics. These optics need the PNV-10T dovetail adapter, which slots into the Nortos Titanium Advanced Tactical Mount or TATUM. The TATUM then attaches to helmets like the 6B47 or the Wilcox Skull Lock Head Mount. These optics are priced around 38,000 rubles currently and will provide you about 60% view area. As with all night vision helmet optics, you can use any optical scope you want, but you cannot use night vision or thermal scopes as the light from the scopes washes out the sight view area. This is the Armasite N15 night vision optics, which can only mount to the Armasite NVG mask. While they give you a better contrast than the PNV-10T optics, they cost close to double at 58,000 rubles, and you can't use a helmet with them. While I have played with them, I don't see myself using this on a recurring basis. Come 
Next up is the AN slash PVS-14 Night Vision Monocular, another helmet-based optic system which needs a dual dovetail mount for the PVS-14 Monocular, which attaches to the Tatum and then the helmet. The optic alone costs 74,000 rubles. The sight area is reduced since it's a monocular device, but I find the contrast significantly better than the PNV-10T system. The Flare RS-32 2.25 to 9x 35mm 60Hz thermal rifle scope is our first thermal scope. It costs approximately 105,000 rubles, and unlike pretty much all the other options, no adapter or mount is needed. This scope can be attached directly to the gun. This thermal scope also comes with two zoom levels, a 2.25x view and a 9x view. The description references ability to attach to a helmet, but I could find no way to actually do this in-game. The refresh rate on the screen is only 21 hertz, which results in visible viewing area tearing. The ability to zoom with thermal is attractive, but the refresh rate makes this scope difficult to use with precision on moving targets. These are the GPNVG-18 night vision optics and will attach directly to a helmet like the 6B47 without any additional adapters. They cost about 180,000 rubles and provide greater than 90% view coverage. Personally, I found these optics the best for night vision, but the price tag means only players with deep pockets will likely use these on a regular basis. This is the second and last thermal scope, the Trijicon Reaper Thermal Rifle Scope. Unlike the FLIR, this device does not support multiple zoom levels, but does offer a much faster refresh rate. The cost of this scope is 190,000 rubles, and will require a UNV D-Lock-IRD mount for sights. Overall, I prefer this scope over the FLIR given the refresh rate, but the cost is obviously a factor for some people. The final piece of equipment is the T7 thermal goggles with night vision mounts, which will set a player back 2.1 million rubles. These optics give you over 90% view area that cannot be used with any sights as you cannot see through the scope's glass when using the goggles. Options are hip firing with an IR laser equipped or iron sights. Given the price tag and the inability to use optical scopes, I don't personally see the attraction of using these, although I know some people love them. Let me know in the comments how you would use these optics in your raids. Here is some gameplay footage of me using the FLIR while we're working on Punisher Part 6. Overall, the scope helped me spot players easily in bushes and woods, but the refresh rate was very distracting. Overall, I believe IR definitely helps, but I would recommend the Reaper overall. The crispness and identifying body shapes really makes a difference. Okay, so where does this leave us? Well, 
If you're on a budget, I have to recommend the PNV-10Ts. They're very economical and they will give you definitely serviceable night vision. If you lose a couple pairs, it's not the end of the world. For those of you that have a little bit more money in your bank or really want to get better full screen coverage, then you really want to try the GPNVG 18s. They'll give you the best sort of coverage, best fidelity, but they are not cheap. Now, if you're going to go IR, and again, I think this is more of a deep pocket situation, then the Reaper is the only way to go, in my opinion. The FLIR, that screen tearing was just too aggravating. Well, that's it for this video on thermal equipment and night vision gear. I hope that you got some useful information out of it. Make sure that you uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you're doing for thermal equipment on your night raids. Also, if you could leave a like or a dislike, I would really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I post a video every week, so you'll get notified when I do it. Thanks for watching.